Okay, so this first video is looking at Insight and how to get data in and out. So my first thing is I've loaded Insight. Uh, some of you in the Mac may have found that a little bit tricky to get that working to start with, but it should be working now. So I use the data in and out, which is where I get my data from. It asks me to find some data. So I'm going to go to where I've saved my data. Uh, you may have saved your data in a different place. And once I've got my data, I'm going to import it. So where's my data? There you go. There's my horse data. And I'm going to click OK. And there's my data. Now, if I drag this window across, I can see my data nice and clearly. So I've got the breed, the size in hands, the height in centimetres, the weight, the life expectancy, the colour, the temperament and the speed. Now, I know that some of these columns I can't use. Breed isn't a number piece of data, nor is colour, nor is temperament, so therefore I can't use those. I also know that I can only use measured data as my response variable, so therefore my y-axis variable. So thankfully, all of my results in here, size, height, weight, life expectancy and speed are all stuff that has been measured. So therefore I can choose my relationship. Now I want to examine whether height affects speed. So height is my explanatory variable and speed is my response variable. And there's my scatter diagram and instantly it's there. Now some of you may find that dragging the names from the top here down is a little bit messy. So what you can do, because you've got your data set there, you can take yourself to the view variables bit. OK, so therefore now I've just got the names of my variables and I can just drag those in and down and get my equation. OK, last bit in this first video is to do with this advanced button. This advanced button lets me do a matrix of all the scatter plots that they're going to do. Now, I'm going to select and hold control for just the ones that I want because they are the number pieces of data. I don't want to do colour and temperament. And when I do that, Insight is great at drawing lots of plots but they always seem to come up in new windows. So here's my matrix. I can see that, funnily enough, there's a perfect relationship between size in hands and height, and that makes sense because they're the same thing. So therefore, there is very little point in trying to choose those ones. But I can see that weight and height there is a relationship with. So I have to go down this long axis. So here, if I want to find a relationship between height and speed, I can see the graph there. Now, you're going to have to choose which is your explanatory and which is your response very carefully at that point. Does speed affect height or does height affect speed? And you need to make that choice. Of course, height affects speed. Speed of the horse does not affect the height. OK, so you can look through here and help yourself choose which variables you're going to look at in the exam. OK, so that's the first video done. That's starting with Insight. Next video, we'll start looking at putting a trend line on, investigating points, and finding the equation. See you next time.